Pete, so I understand vSAN can do different types of RAID, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6. Um, what would I choose? When would I choose it and why? Yeah. Well, the good news is that when you're trying to make the choice, uh, it doesn't have to be this all-in-one sort of a uh, choice you know, across an entire vSAN cluster. We allow the customers to select this within a storage policy that can be defined on a per VM or uh, even a, a per VMDK basis. But when we think about RAID 1 and RAID 5 and RAID 6, these are just uh, data placement schemes that have their built-in uh, protection mechanisms uh, built in. So what RAID 5 and RAID 6 is, is that uh, protecting the data redundantly, but doing it in a really space efficient way and guaranteeing that space efficiency. Whereas mirroring the data, that being RAID 1, is just as the name implies, just mirroring the data in two separate locations so that you can store the data redundantly. Now, in making the, you know, the uh, determination on whether you should use RAID 1 or RAID 5 and RAID 6, generally there's, there's more effort uh, that it uh, takes to process uh, storage requests that are laid out in a really space efficient way like RAID 5 or RAID 6. But it can certainly be a good uh, option for many of our customers. The best way for you to know is really to try it in your environment. And if it doesn't work, you can adjust the storage policy. So if I had some workload that was really write heavy, which way would you go? I, in those cases, uh, I would always start off with a RAID 1 mirroring arrangement. That's going to uh, be the most efficient in terms of the, act of the actual I.O. processing, uh, even though it, it comes with the trade-off of uh, consuming a little bit more storage capacity. And as you said, I could do different policies per drive. So if I had like a database that was mostly read heavy, but had a log volume that was write heavy, I could go RAID 5 for the database, RAID 1 for the log. Yeah, we see that really uh, quite often in uh, environments where they're using a database, a SQL environment where they have the transaction logs set as one way, but then you have the primary uh, databases uh, that are using uh, some other uh, data placement scheme like mirroring. Sounds like I can have my cake and eat it too. You sure can.